mainly work on uh, viticulture and fruit tree crops. So we uh, planned this uh, experiment that was the first experiment and we, we were realizing to continue this work but actually uh, for various reasons we couldn't uh, continue this uh, work. But we intend to, in the next future, to investigate in uh, different areas involved in, uh, in this practice. Um, in Puglia, uh, so definitely, as I, I told in the introduction, uh, the practice of deep uh, plowing and uh, rock fragmentation is common when uh, growers want to establish uh, table grape vine vineyard. Uh, this is a less common practice for uh, the plantation, for example, of sweet uh, cherry or peach or rum. It depends then on the part of Puglia where uh, the orchard will be planted. But this, uh, is, this was very common. It's becoming less common in the last years, but not because of drawbacks from uh, the grower point of view, but especially from, for uh, economical point of view, because uh, as we see, it's very expensive practice. And uh, for this practice, uh, some hydraulic hammers and uh, grinding machineries are used. Why growers, especially table grain growers or food crop growers, uh, use this practice in Puglia? That is very uncommon, I think, in other regions of the world. Spain, uh, Greece, it's, we can say less common. Because uh, we can say as uh, the, uh, the better soils, uh, the, the soils with the, you know, the better uh, chemical and physical characteristics were generally used for viticulture, for a rich horticulture, you can give to the grower this money. But with expanding areas for table grape and fruit tree crops, growers try to, to get new lands for these uh, for this new orchards, for these new vineyards. And they try to improve the soil, the characteristic, especially the technical characteristic, the physical characteristic of this uh, soil. So for the cultivation of table, many table grape and uh, food tree species. We can see here a uh, figure of the region in different soils. In particular, this one with the water reference base for soil resources. And the soils in the part of Puglia involved in uh, uh, this practice are mainly localized in this, in this area, around Bari, in the southeast, in the sea where uh, you see the soil type are uh, located. And as uh, uh, I told you, the soil is very shallow and there is a, a very superficial limestone. So the, the possibility for the roots to explore the soil is very limited. Here you can see also the uh, average annual temperatures in the area, and we see the all this part of the Puglia, I think uh, yesterday we went close here to Torre Guacheta. <coughs> the uh, <coughs> Salento, but uh, the table grape vineyard are mainly localized here and in this part where we can have uh, um, some uh, um, table grape cultivars that are uh, with an advanced ripening process, while in this part of the region, the table grapes cultivar are mainly uh, used for uh, late harvesting time. This is the rain, we can see that uh, in the northern part of the Puglia where uh, cereals, tomatoes, uh, wine grapes uh, and olives are cultivated. This is uh, very limited, so we can see the range from about 500 millimeters to in the Gargano Mountains, Gargano Hills, we uh, almost reach 1,000 millimeters of uh, rain per year. This is an average uh, evapotranspiration. 
that is uh, uh, linked to the temperature in the, in the region, so the uh, higher, uh, the lower amounts of uh, evapotranspiration is uh, in this part, uh, close to the Adriatic Sea, and where um, the greatest part of uh, Tebogate vineyards are located. The soil water holding capacity, and we can see the reason also, the important reasons to to use this uh, practice to bring to uh, break the rocks and grind the, the rocks. Here we can see the limited soil water holding capacity of this part, depending mainly on the soil characteristics of this part. While in, uh, in the southern and in the, in the northern part, the soil water holding capacity is uh, higher. And we can see also that okay, the, the colors are not uh, very clear in, uh, in this uh, picture. The uh, primary use of the soil. And here we have uh, um, 43 crops in this part and in this part. And here also we have uh, um, cereals, horticultural uh, um, crops, <coughs> and also some uh, vineyards, wine grapes, many wine grapes, in this part of uh, uh, Puglia and also in this part of uh, Puglia, associated with uh, century uh, here old olives. Even if in this part of the Puglia, the oldest part of the Puglia, uh, because of the higher temperatures, some growers are trying to planting to establish uh, table grape vineyards in order to advance the ripening process in order to put table grapes on the market as soon as they can in order to uh, to, to, to face, we can say, the um, production coming from Turkey, from uh, Northern Africa countries, or uh, Spain. Here we can see the different parts of uh, these um, cultural practices used in Puglia. The first step of uh, the soil preparation involves the deep plowing and uh, very big machines are used with for a um, depth of about uh, 18, uh, 80 uh, centimeters uh, and more, one meter, one meter and more, it depends then on, uh, on the soils. And uh, the cost of this practice in Puglia for the uh, we can say for this part of the Puglia, is about 3,000 euros per hectare. Only for the plant. Uh, only for the plant. You have to, no, to uh, make this first operation. Then it depends on the soil, because in some part of the Puglia, you can make on, only this practice, this zone, because it's a sandy soil, no, it's not so rocky. The soil, especially in the southern part of the pool. So the cost for the establishment of the vineyard of the orchard can be very limited in this case. But as I told you, especially in the central part of the pool, where there is the Murja, I think you will visit no? yeah. these uh, different areas of the pool. So we appreciate life. All uh, you can see here now on uh, the presentation. You have to use the dry, uh, hydraulic hammers to break um, the rocks that also through the uh, plugging can uh, be uh, forced out of the, the soil. So you can see this machine. And there are many machines like this that work in uh, one hectare no, of the soil. They, uh, they have to break the bigger rocks in smaller part in order to facilitate the following step of the soil preparation. And uh, the cost is about, you can see this is an approximation for the cost, 100 euros per uh, uh, hour. And it can take uh, many, many hours, hours and many days. You can see probably 
in these times you can see around uh, uh, people working doing this uh, in some areas you can see only I think uh, one week ago they were close to Valenzano there were a farmer doing this uh, yes and it takes uh, several days to complete all uh, the practice <coughs> the final step is the grinding grinding of the, the stone you can see the rocks here the machine and it looks like a really fine uh, end and from this uh, the cost of this practice is around uh, eight uh, ten thousand euros per hectare so uh, the entire cost of the practice for only one hectare and uh, since this is an expensive practice it's mainly used for uh, crops that can give uh, a certain amount of money to the grower so table get vineyard and some some fruit crops not uh, surely not olive <laughs> but uh, probably sweet shell uh, and the cost for one hectare is around 15,000, 20,000 euros only for preparing the soil. Then there are the cost for the poles, for the wires, for buying the root socks and uh, the varieties. To do some extras. Yeah, so you, you can reach easily 30, 35, 40,000 euros per hectare for one hectare of. Uh, 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 one hectare Why should the, the growers do this practice? Well, the, uh, the presence of uh, skeleton material is, uh, has been always considered an essential factor for uh, improving the quality of the production either of wine grapes or table grapes varieties and there are uh, several studies also colleagues that support uh, the practical experience of the growers they see you know, these better results in the field after several years of practice and uh, research uh, res different researches conducted and uh, mainly in Italy and Spain where this practice is uh, or variants, variances of this practice are used and support that uh, the changes induced in the soil improve the production and the quality of the grape or uh, the, the fruits. We can see also another machine used for uh, the plant work doing in this case uh, um, this machine is generally used in the south, uh, south and west part of uh, Puglia close to Castellaneta Marina where we have deep soil, not so rocky soil so they only make this kind of work in the soil since they, they don't have no, the limestone and they just do this uh, uh, operation before establishing the, the orchards the soil uh, structure no? is uh, uh, as most of you know it's a key factor for uh, uh, improving and getting good crop production in fact the soil structure determines the capability the ability of the roots of the plants in this case we are mainly focusing on fruit trees more than on uh, cereals since the root system of the fruit trees is uh, larger and goes generally deeper so if the roots have more space to explore they can absorb more water nutrients and sometimes can uh, escape situations of uh, toxicity uh, this is uh, important either when we consider irrigated orchards, irrigated uh, vineyards or non-irrigated rain-fed uh, vineyards or, uh, or uh, orchards 
but uh, mm, many environmental uh, damages in uh, uh, an intensive arable land such as we can see this is a, these are all pictures in Puglia no? some situation, real situation we had no? in some areas of the region where uh, intensive ploughing uh, or rock fragmentation occurred this is uh, the picture of uh, an area where uh, there was an, uh, an old union and there's after, no? The deep blowing, the hammers, and the, after one week, this was the result. Then, okay, there is another final preparation of the soil before planting the rootstocks or uh, the fruit trees. And we can see how the landscape is deeply changed. And then the other change involves also the structure of the vineyard because uh, there is also the positioning of uh, plastic cover sheets uh, whatever that looks like mirrors look like looks uh, like uh, um, uh, reflecting you know, panel in the lens where uh, we have uh, in the past, figs, uh, carrots, or cereals. Now you can see, no, only green when we are lucky. In the other vineyards, or the plastic sheets covering the land. So the, the, ob the objective of this uh, work was to um, evaluate a first evaluation, a preliminary evaluation of uh, uh, the effects of. Uh, this kind of operation, mechanical operation, on the soil, mainly on the soil skeleton and uh, some soil uh, chemical properties. We conducted this trial uh, in the experimental station of the University of uh, Paris. In this university, we can, we, you will see this uh, experimental station uh, next Monday. We have uh, uh, different fruit crops and uh, the operations in this uh, uh, the, um, the operation, the mechanical operations in this land have been conducted along uh, the years so the techniques were different so the, uh, the objective was also to compare we can see small mechanical changes in the past no? 20-25 years with uh, more invasive, more uh, heavy mechanical changes with the new machines. And uh, um, in the, in the, in, we, we still learn that it's not so far from here, this uh, university, still undisturbed soil. <coughs> Every year uh, the, the amount of this surface is uh, lower and uh, lower because it's used not only by uh, the, the, me and the colleagues of uh, uh, the fruit tree section, but also from pathologists, soil chemists, uh, and uh, other colleagues. Uh, in this area, there are no more wine grapes, as they have been moved to another uh, part. Then, uh, bitter and sweet almond cultivars. This is still present, is, uh, uh, you will see also in the next uh, pictures the sweet cherry cultivars and uh, a trial where uh, uh, various cherry rootstocks are well planted, uh, grafted uh, with uh, the cultivar lapins. So, and uh, all these areas were compared with uh, a control that is, uh, was the soil and this tool, not where uh, no mechanical operation have ever been conducted. The uh, tillage conducted in, the, in these areas were uh, performed in, this, uh, in um, different years because the different orchards have been established in, uh, oh, in, in different years depending on the project and uh, you know uh, what, um, what, how things are going on no? for uh, with the university. University and uh, Institute projects. 
and this is in 1981, 1985, and 1994, in 2002, for almond grape, uh, sweet cherry rootstock, and sweet cherry varieties. In particular, in the last, only uh, in the last uh, uh, plot, the, uh, the hydraulic, big uh, hydraulic cameras have been uh, used. Well, some carrot trees. Uh, and only uh, it's not cultivated with some uh, carrots and uh, um, only uh, natural no? uh, vegetation is uh, present. You can see how the soil is. It's not a deep soil and it's not a very plain uh, soil, as you can see. This is uh, the almond orchard. Several years, you can see the soil is different, and you can see the broken stones. This is the particular of the almond orchard. The sweet cherry, this is the more recent uh, established orchard in the, in the um, university in the section of food culture. You can see also the, sometimes the difference is very visible of uh, this one. Um, the cherry rootstock here yeah, you can see and this was uh, the old uh, vineyard the one that you can see also so only now some uh, rootstocks but as I told you we moved to another part of the, of the uh, universe this is the soil in the ground okay we, we made the, uh, different analysis, pH, uh, to organic carbon, uh, nitrogen, phosphor, and carbon. And, uh, but we mainly focused the analysis on uh, the, the soil skeleton. And we, we conducted this uh, uh, analysis according also to uh, references uh, present in, uh, in the literature, so on, the, on our volumetric uh, basis and uh, um, we sampled uh, various, uh, um, we had different uh, samples and uh, sealed at 2 mm to separate the uh, skeleton fraction from the finite fraction and uh, we used three different uh, kind of uh, uh, sieves. Uh, number 10, number 3 and a half, uh, one and uh, three inch sieves that in order to separate, we define as a coarse skeleton from around 25 to 76 millimeters, medium fraction, 5.66, uh, 25.4, and the fine skeleton fraction, 2 millimeters, uh, to, from 2 millimeters to 5.66 millimeters in diameter.